Okay, so now that we've installed the ABAP trial on our machine, let's learn how to turn our application server on and off. So there should be an icon on your desktop called SAP Management Console. Go ahead and double click on that. Now here we can see that there's this left hand pane which shows all of our SAP systems. If we expand this tree, we see NSP, which is our SAP system. And that's made up of this blue cylinder here, Win7 database, and Win7 space zero, which is our application server. And everything looks good, it's all green up and running. If for any reason your SAP system is not showing up as green, go ahead and click on it and press the play button up here, which will start your machine. And you can also stop your machine. So what happens if we were to restart our computer? Would the SAP system automatically restart? Let's find out. So now when we log in, there are actually two additional users, NSP ADM and SAP ADM. We're just going to log in using our traditional user account though. Now let's check if our SAP system is active. We'll double click on their SAP management console Expand the tree. And currently it looks like the SAP system is powered down. Interesting, okay. Let's click on it and do a refresh. We'll give it a couple more minutes and then we'll force start our system by pressing on this play button or start. So our SAP system is not coming up automatically, which is to be expected. Let's click on NSP and press start. Press OK. And then type in your password. This is the operating system user password. So the one that I log into my account Rob with is the one that I enter here. And if you don't have an admin password, go ahead and set one up for your user account now. And then relaunch the SAP Management Console because it more than likely requires you to enter in both a user and a password. We can see that the system is thinking. We'll refresh. and our system appears to be up. Great. So now that we have our system up and running, how do we connect to it? How do we actually get into SAP? Well, we need to install SAP GUI, which is the graphical user interface that allows us to access the SAP server. Let's install it now.